Hello, everyone. Well, we are up to day six on Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar, so let's find the door. And here it is. Let's pop this open and see what we're going to be playing with today. And it looks like another die set. Let's pull this out and see what it includes. Okay, so it looks like a little gnome, and he has a staff, it looks like, to hold on to. There's his beard, and this looks like it fits inside of his hat to create some polka dots. There's a star and some flowers and little details for the gnome. I went ahead and cut all of my pieces out off camera, and I'm starting with a purple base for my gnome. I wanted the polka dots behind his hat to be light purple, so I'm just gluing that behind. The hat just kind of snapped off, or you could snip it off easily. I cut out his beard with some white cardstock, and it has some really neat etched details to it, so that it looks like hair. And his nose I cut out with some alabaster cardstock, as well as his hands. Let's go ahead and glue those on. This is such a cute layering die set. He looks very much like a cute little wizard gnome. Let's glue on his slippers. And I cut these out with a really pale blue. And then I wanted to bring out his beard a little bit more, so I'm using a neutral one gray Copic marker. And I'm just following the lines that are etched into this die cut. So very simple coloring. I'll add some shading to his slippers with a B32 Copic. His hands and nose need a little bit of shading too, just to bring them out more and make him look a little more dimensional. So I'm using an E11, and I'll put some just around the bottom and the side of his nose. I'm gonna bring in another Copic, an E01, to shade that out or to soften it a little bit, and an even lighter one just kind of blend it all out. I believe that was an E triple zero. Okay, so we need to create something really cute to put behind this wizard. So I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending with some distress oxides. I use some masking tape on two sides of this white panel so that I can create a little border on the side. I started with my darkest color first, which is blueprint sketch. Next is Wilted Violet, and then Picked Raspberry. This looks like a pretty magical background to put behind the wizard. And I'm not bringing the ink all the way to the right edge and the top of this. It's just going to kind of fade out to white. All right, so here's our panel all ready to go. I'm pulling out an older stamp set. This came from one of the card kits of the month about two years ago. And I'm going to use the sentiment that says, hello. The strip sentiment beneath it says, there's no one like you. And I stamped that out with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I want to mat this panel onto a piece of purple cardstock. This is a piece of royal amethyst that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. I'll glue the gnome down flat. He just looks so cute in front of that background. And then I'm going to put a little glue on his hand so that I can attach his staff. And then the star, I'm going to put right above it. There's a little slit in it so that you can put the staff inside it. And I did double up on the star and the staff just to give them a little more stability. I'll glue this onto a white card base. And then I'm going to add a few magical touches to this card. I'll add a few of the teeny tiny flowers that came in this little die set. I'm just using my tweezers to help me pick up these small flowers. Put one on his hat and two on the ground beneath his staff. This will help ground him a little bit. 
And then next I'm going to add some clear glitter pen over the star. This will make it nice and sparkly. I allowed that to dry and now I'm adding some glossy accent over the whole star. So Spellbinders has a couple of other really cute gnome dies in their shop and I will link to those. I'm so sorry that this isn't available anymore. It sold out really fast. But I hope that you're enjoying these videos and getting some crafty inspiration from them. Take care, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.